Welcome to Sandwiches of History, where I make sandwiches from old recipe books and then uh, plus them up for the modern palate if I feel it's necessary. Uh, today, from the up-to-date sandwich book of 1909, we're going to be making the banana sandwich. That's right, the banana sandwich number one. And yes, I'm still using the Gros Michel banana, the original banana that was the banana before the 1950s, and a blight came along and wiped most of it out, uh, replaced by the Cavendish. These are a little bit sweeter, definitely smaller, but more intense. And what they would have used in 1909. So fork would have been better. Anyway, where was I? And it says to add a dash of lemon juice, and it says to sweeten to taste. Absolutely does not need any sweetener whatsoever. The Gros Michel banana is already really sweet, so not going to sweeten it. And then we place that on buttered white bread. Okay, let's give this banana sandwich number one a go. That is pretty good. Again, the Gros Michel banana is quite sweet, so it didn't need sweetening. The lemon juice is a nice little bright note. And believe it or not, the butter is a nice touch. Yeah. I'm going to add a few ingredients I think will plus it up, make it something a little bit more interesting. But this is pretty good. The first thing I'm going to do is add some shaved dark chocolate. And now you might be looking at that thinking, hey, wait a sec, that doesn't look like dark chocolate. It looks like milk chocolate. Boom. Tony Chocoloni. By the way, they do great things uh, trying to eliminate slavery in the chocolate trade, so support them. They're good chocolate, too. And I'm going to add some peanuts. Kind of lean into the whole dessert thing right here. Okay, let's give this plussed up banana sandwich number one a go. Mmm. Oh yeah. Peanuts, chocolate, banana. What what is there to say? It's more dessert than sandwich sandwich, but hey, who cares? What's interesting is the uh Grumpy Shell banana, when it gets mashed, it's really gooey. It starts flowing, so it's a little bit messier but it's delicious. And I know some of you have probably already written in the comments that I should have added bacon and peanut butter and made it an Elvis sandwich. And uh, yeah, that would be good. Um, but I would also point out that that's not the Elvis sandwich. If you go to YouTube, you can see Elvis's cook who made the sandwich for him. It's just peanut butter and banana. It's delicious. Uh, I did it back probably last October, maybe a little bit earlier. I also did the Fool's Gold, which was a favorite of Elvis, which was peanut butter, blueberry jam, and bacon, um, which you can check that out as well. All right, so the original banana sandwich that was a tasty little dessert. I would probably give that a 7. With the Gros Michel, uh, you would have to doctor the Cavendish, the modern banana, up with a little bit of sugar, probably. Uh, with the chocolate and the peanuts, that goes to a 9. That's a delicious little dessert sandwich, and I am going to finish it. <laughs> All right. See you next time.